We were practicing triaging, so if there's like a mass casualty or something big that happens in the city where a lot of people need to be treated, we're practicing how we organize those people who's most critical. The biggest takeaway from this and like the different experience is the teamwork. When there's other people in the room like there is in real life, when you're in a real life code and you have nurses and doctors and lab and a pharmacy trying to come through and it, you have to know your role and where you belong because if you don't you're not going to be any help to that patient. When our patient did code, I mean that's pretty stressful. You're looking at, you have to look at the monitor, we're thinking in our heads like what meds can we give, uh, do they need to be intubated, how are we going to take it from here. You saw that we did active CPR and we did that for almost 10 minutes. You kind of zone out and you're just focused on what you're there to do and that's just to save that patient's life. They did awesome. They did awesome. Um, it's a good learning experience and I, th I think they had fun doing it. When we think about the hospital, we think nurses and doctors. You don't hear people say nurses, doctors, and respiratory therapists. Now, after COVID, you hear that a lot because you know we're the ones that work the ventilators, we're the ones that have to ventilate and oxygenate these people, like we're the ones there at bedside like making sure that you can breathe. Nursing and, and doctors are very important of course, but we play just as a vital role as they do.